weight gain after fecal microbiota transplant. Hi, this is Dr. Ruscio, and perhaps you've heard of a very interesting new therapy called fecal micro microbiota uh, transplant therapy. And this is essentially where we take the um, bowel movement of, of one person, the feces of one person, and uh, transfer that into the intestines of another person to help recolonize the bacteria in the colon. And this therapy has uh, turned quite a few heads, and rightfully so, because it, it is quite a bit um, different, I guess you could say. But it does have a somewhat long history of use going um, way back to um, ancient days in, in China um, as a therapy that helps with certain gastrointestinal conditions. It's been receiving more attention lately, especially in the treatment of uh, reoccurring Clostridium difficile infections, which can be quite problematic. Um, it's also been recommended for many other gastrointestinal conditions, um, or I shouldn't say recommended, but people have been wondering how helpful it could be with other gastrointestinal conditions. There's a little bit of evidence for inflammatory bowel disease that may be helpful for uh, Crohn's and ulcerative colitis. Um, and there is um, some experimentation going on with other conditions. Uh, the best evidence we have is really for um, reoccurrent Clostridium difficile infections. Recently, a, a case report study was published showing how a woman gained weight, in fact she became obese, after receiving a um, fecal microbiota transplant from a healthy donor. An overweight but healthy donor um, actually caused this woman to become obese. Now this woman had um, uh, reoccurring Clostridium difficile infection. She received the fecal microbiota transplant therapy and that reoccurring f infection went away, which was good, but she also became obese overweight, um, likely because of the um, effects from uh, the transplant that she had. So, of course, when using a donor, we want to try to find the healthiest donor possible. This study is interesting because it highlights how important the donor is and perhaps highlights uh, another reason for being cautious with um, this therapy unless it's the only option because we may find in the future there are other interactions um, that we're not aware of until someone has a negative side effect from the therapy. So certainly I'm supportive of this um, FMT therapy if there's no other option but because it's so new if there's not another option or if there, I'm sorry, if there is another option I would exercise and exhaust all my other options first because um, God forbid you had some sort of reaction to uh, the particular uh, microbiota transplant that you had, um, you may end up with some uh, side effects that may be fairly hard to get rid of because there's a vast world of bacteria within uh, a microbiota and we still don't completely understand how one bacterial microbiota interfaces with the genes of another person. Um, so again, until we know more about it, we probably want to be a little bit cautious. Um, so you can potentially gain weight from a uh, fecal microbiota transplant if you're not careful with who your donor is. All right, hope this helps, thanks.